Welcome into this first carrier update of the second hour presented by Powerfleet. I'm Tony, joined by Donnie. Donnie, van rejections kind of flatlining. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of look at, you know, we did this yesterday with the reefer. I want to look at dry vans in the seasonal mode, looking at the, the past three years. And you kind of see here, of course, we have uh, rejection rates in the dark blue line have dropped down. Uh, we saw the little drop here as we entered uh, after the 4th of July. And we've kind of been in between that 7 and 7.25 range for quite, a, you know, the last week or so with dry vans. But looking at the others, of course, this light blue line, this is where COVID was taking back off and the economy was opening up, so I kind of want to disregard this one. But looking at the green here and the red, you can see a slight increase between August and September on both of these. So we have some possible good news coming up as we get towards the end of the month here in July. If you're a drive-in carrier, obviously push your rates up for the for the end of the month, but also try to keep upward pressure on your rates throughout the month of August, and hopefully these seasonal patterns will help you increase your rates just a little bit, at least reverse or change what is going on now with either rates going down or kind of holding steady. Yeah, I think the positive sign is if you look back there, after the 4th of July, we saw where it declined, but then we saw a little bump back instead of just continuing that downward movement. That little yeah. uptick really helped things. So hopefully we'll, we'll probably hold steady here, but these last few days, try to push your rates back up and get uh, a finish up with a good end of the month. And then throughout the month of August, keep upward pressure on your rates. And maybe we can see rejection rates build back up here. <clears throat> Let's pop in here to our next chart. Uh, all right. so. OTMS and the yearly change. Uh, OTMS is the market share. So everything, uh, if you look at this map versus our uh, outbound tender volumes, it, they're the exact same. But with OTMS, we're using everything, as, we're, we're putting it into a percentage where all the markets add up to 100%. So this is the yearly change. And what I like to look at this map for is, if one market increases, something else has to de decrease to keep that 100%. So if a market increases over one year, during a year, and they don't properly adjust the inbound or outbound of trucks, it can really cause a market to be over or underbooked. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. Phoenix here, it's, it's, it's grown, even though it is Phoenix, and even right now it's not a great market, but still over this past year, it's grown some. Same with Denver, same with Indianapolis. So if you look at these, this map right here is a great map for your sales team to target extra freight that's, you know, in these markets that have grown over this past year. And this is one quick way to find it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for this update, Donnie. We'll be sure to check in with you again one more time. Right now, toss it over to Sydney Edwards with our first look at headlines this hour.